Today's stone is going to be red jasper. So some housekeeping first. One, I randomly found this while cleaning and I was like, hmm, I'll make a video on this. Two, if you haven't checked out my fantasy novel Real Magic, you can definitely find it on Amazon and Barnes and Noble through the link in the description on my author page and by searching my name on Amazon or barnesandnoble.com. So let's switch over to the notes and let's talk about this nice little stone here. This is a rather big one, which is why I was like, hmm, I have this. So I decided to make a video on it. So a lot of the information that I did find on it was, um, th there's not a lot of info. Uh, a lot of the different sources and stuff were quite repetitive. So this is not going to be an overall comprehensive um, video on Red Jasper itself. But from what I read about it, I do kind of like it. So I think I'm going to keep it around my, um, like my writing station, let's say, because I am trying to cook up a second novel. I'm brainstorming some ideas, but I think it's going to be good. So it's a member of the Chalcedony clan, the Quartz family, and the Silicates class. Its crystal system is tri trigonal. I thought it, was, it would be like triagonal, but it's, I guess it's trigonal unless that's spelt wrong. You know, fact check me down there. I always want to know if I'm wrong about stuff because this is about me talking about some stuff. You might learn something and I might learn something from you. So its chemical composition is silicon dioxide with inclusions of iron oxide, but probably where you get the red from is the iron. Its hardness is 7, so you know it's on the second half of hardness because the hardness scale is 1 to 10, 10 being the hardest, right? Um, it's nurturing, grounding, and stabilizing. Its primary chakra is the root, although it also works with the sacral. Its astrological signs are, hmm, Aries, that's half of me, and Scorpio. Its vibration number is 6. Um, it's just kind of curious as to, like, I'm always curious about like how they say everything like vibrates or whatever or you know the whole hippie thing about you got to raise your vibration and stuff like that. Let me know what you guys think about that kind of stuff down there. Um, comes from India, Russia, Brazil, Germany, France, and the U.S. It's the stone of wisdom and courage. Um, it's it. One of the sources that I read said that it's called a rain bringer. So you know it was kind of might have been used in rain dances or things like that. There wasn't that much info on it. Um, Egyptians actually used, um, they equated red jasper with the blood of Isis, the menstrual blood, right? Um, and it's a stone of vibrancy and endurance. It's called the blood of Mother Earth by n some Native American tribes. It calms the emotional body. It's good with setting goals. It's good for anxiety. It promotes self-honesty, facing unpleasant tasks. It cleans the root chakra. That's why it's associated with the root chakra. And you kind of got to think allegorically, right? So you have the root chakra, which is kind of like the base. Um, and it manifests creativity and freshness to old endeavors. So I'm probably going to be keeping this on me while I'm brainstorming for my next novel. Um, or magic book, whichever one I come up with first. I got so many ideas swimming around. Um, it can bring focus and help master the self. It's really good with self-honesty, unless I already said that. Um... It's good for anyone creative, such as a writer, or an artist, or an actor, or a dancer. It's good for jobs that require physical strength and stamina, too. Um, you would think that with its red color, it would help with you know, like blood circulation, things like that. Um, a lot of a lot of spiritual systems and uh, things believe that anything that's red that has iron in it, because you know blood has iron in it, and even foods that are red help with things that have to do with the circulatory system like the blood and the heart and the veins and the, you know any of those other terms capillaries and other stuff like that it's the supreme nurturer so it really just chills you out and kind of gets your head in the game for whatever you have to do you know and it's i mean this is like a tumbled one you know so it, it's very smooth it's very very reflective i think you guys can see a little bit of the Overhead lights kind of shining on it, which I think is very, very cool. It's got some kind of dark spots in it. It's got this one little blemish in there. I'm not exactly sure what composes that, but it is a rather interesting stone. So, you know, the next time that I get to meditating, I'll probably just uh, see what I can do with it, you know, see if it influences my meditation. So, yeah, this is a rather quick one as far as stones go. Like I said, there wasn't that much info on it, 
but you can let me know if you guys have a stone like this or if you want me to review another stone that I might not have done already. Because I try to do a lot of stones that I have around here, stones that I can get my hands on, or ones that I just think are really, really fancy but I haven't exactly found yet. So we'll see what else I can add to this playlist. So you can check out all of my other videos and the links to which you can find, you know, at the end of this video, even my playlist and my email and stuff if you want to work with me or collaborate with me or if you want to learn from me you can also get access to my patreon if you are interested in supporting this channel you can check out all of my books in the uh, links down below good hunting thanks for watching my video so if you want to check out my playlists i have among others the simon necronomicon the tree of life general magic tulpamancy a playlist on my books the elements stones the theories that govern magic and the gods and goddesses of Mesopotamia. If you want to check out my books on Amazon, I have Creating Consciousness, Magical Mechanics, Magical Theater, Handy Sigil Magic, Magical Movement, which is an update and expansion upon Handy Sigil Magic, Magical Mastery, which is a combination masterwork of Magical Theater and Magical Mechanics, and The Guide to the Spheres and Beyond. You can also find me on Facebook at MagicologyYT. You can email me at priestofthenecro at gmail.com. And you can even check out my Instagram, which is Magicology. And good hunting.